Hello everyone, Relgan here once again with an analysis of a Roach Opener CVT game, this time on Coral Carnage against a Grandmaster Terran. I'm going to speed up the start of the video a little bit. We already talked about the opener a bunch. I made two videos where I showed the basics and the advanced form of the opener. Basics meaning mostly the how do I get the three roaches out, advanced being how do I follow up the build to get into mutas and to go back to roaches as we will also see in this game. I go for the pool, hatch, gas into roach worn. I build two circlings, send them across the map to try and steer up the Terran a little bit. This Terran uh, skips, no, actually he did build the Reaper and this will try to do some scouting and damage. Sadly my queen is not in the perfect position but still manages to take care of the reaper. My lynx got taken care of by the SCVs and this already cost him some mining time so the two lynx did a little bit of damage to the SCVs and managed to buy me some time. At this very moment the three roaches are walking across the map and all the Terran has are one marine, one reaper cross map and a widow mine building. The reason why this build is so strong on this map is the, are the cooling towers. Killing these towers makes them collapse here and he will no longer be able to mine from his natural. He can't fly the natural over here because there are rocks here as well and he can't move down the ramp to save his natural. We will see what happens soon. At home I'm getting my lair, I'm getting my two gas um, as standard with this build while taking care of the cooling towers. I still have a reaper here, I could have done a better job at defending against the reaper but I was not really focused on that. I managed to get the CC to lift, the, if you look at the mining the Terran is 6 workers behind but still about even in terms of mining thanks to his two mules. Now this is where the reaper comes back into action, he will kill at least one drone I think. It's not too too big of a problem. We saw a scan by the Terran, this kind of shows the lack of information that the Terran currently has. He's unsure what's happening, he sees three roaches, he, does, he sees no all in follow up so he's already a little bit confused. You can see that I'm taking care of these cooling towers as well so that he cannot attack me without medivex. Yeah, so thankfully he already has medivex out so that's not a problem for him. Now at home I built the spire, I'm getting my fourth gas and I'm preparing for my mutalisk switch. Seeing the medivex fly my way triggered me to build two spore crawlers. I knew that he had widow mines and I want to take care of the widow mines with spore crawlers. Spore crawlers allow me to see them to see the widow mines and this widow mine seven kills. Like the widow mines still got a huge hit off. I kinda hope that the widow mine would shoot at the queen, but it uh, well I misplayed there. It was just a misplay. It shouldn't really happen usually. The spore crawlers are still helpful at dealing with medivex, making sure that they medivex cannot simply do a lot of damage to my drone line without getting damaged by the spore crawlers as well. Now I did follow it up with two additional queens going all the way up to four, five. The fifth, is, the fifth just finished and we see a liberator coming. You see that I did not build a third hatchery yet because I am saving up gas and minerals for my mutalisks as soon as my overlords finish and I built additional queens to be safe because I felt already ahead after my opener. Now, Liberator comes, Zerg gets scared, Zerg pulls drones, Zerg gets sad. At, um, at this point it's important that I have a nice saturation on all my bases, the Liberator comes again, and here you see a nice interaction. A Queen survives two shots, then it gets transfused and it manages to live. Now my Mutalists are out, I immediately follow it up with my two Evolution Chambers and Roach Speed, I, I believe, Roach Speed? Uh, not quite yet. Anyways, what I want to do is get plus one plus one roaches out. There comes the roach speed and the third hatchery and play three base roach ravager with some mutalisk support. Now 
The mutalisks are doing pretty much standard mutalisk work right here. You see this type of thing pretty often. The mutalisks are there, the turrets are already there, Terran has a lot of marines. Terran feels kind of confined at home, it's hard for him to move out because, uh, because of the mutalisks. And you will see what happens if the Terran does move out very shortly. So I'm killing the cooling towers to make sure the Terran cannot take that third base. I'm denying this third base with, a, with, a, with my overlord and I'm seeing four marines and a couple of tanks, well, something is missing. And it's about 24 marines walking across the map. I, at this point, knew that something was up, but um, I was not prepared enough to deal with this type of drop. So I'm going to take some damage, but my mutalisks are also doing damage to him. If you look at the supply, I'm still ahead like 20 supply. Now, here is where he takes advantage of the map layout. Killing three overlords, a hatchery, four marines, three roaches for free. These rocks make enable him to safely take out everything that's above here without me being able to respawn. It's a little bit sad. I could have defended better against this drop, but I'm not too uh, too sad about the way things turned out because I managed to do a lot of damage to him as well with my mutalisks. Tanks are going to be really important and lacking a couple of tanks is really important or rather it's re really bad for him but really good for me don't ask me what those screens are doing it was a misclick um, yeah I think they I don't know why I sent them there I'm a little bit oversaturated because he managed to take out my third base so that put me a little bit behind his third is also just started so he was on two bases as well, and my plus one plus one is, is about to finish. Here he manages to take out some mutalisks, but mutalisks are not going to be important to my game plan in the long run. I'm kind of happy if I can trade the mutalisks at least somewhat efficiently, because microing mutas is a lot of work, and if, if I can lose my mutas for some tanks, then, that's, then that makes me more than happy. This is hard to engage. I tried to make an engagement, but I immediately noticed, nah, those marines are too many. I cannot fight against that many marines and siege tanks with pure roach. I need some more. Even though I have a small upgrade lead, because he doesn't have the plus one armor yet. As you can see here. Now the Terran is starting up his combat shield. He's getting his armor upgrade right now going for the plus one plus one, getting his third base, so our third bases are still about even. The game was quite chaotic, a lot of things went wrong for both players, but we are still about even. With me being slightly ahead in supply, but it's of course roach supply, so a little bit inflated. Trying to get every free marine that I can. And here we see another double drop coming, and I believe I have not spotted that, so... The defense of that drop is going to be interesting. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. The drop is arriving at my main base and I have to deal with the drop so I immediately pull some spawn roaches here. I pull everything home but I will notice that uh, I can deal with the drop anyway so I'm going to move back across the map quite soon. I do not have a fourth base yet. Actually I'm taking out these rocks. Taking out the rocks is important because if he kills this cooling tower then I'm in big trouble. As he could simply take out the lair with me having to take out the towers first. Now the Terran is on the move. The Terran moves out, it gets ready to drop some siege tanks and this is quite an interesting situation. I'm going to wait a little bit. So this is the key engagement of this game. If you look at the way things look at the moment, it's plus two, plus two Roach, Ravager against plus one, plus one Marines. So I definitely have a lead there. I have a couple of Corruptors to do damage to his Medivex while I fight or even tank damage. And it's important for me to take a good engagement here. <coughs> Excuse me. What, I'm, what I did to begin with is... Pull, up, pull away all my drones. I pull away all my drones to the corner so I don't, don't lose them because I will need them later on. Then I want to have like a really good arc, like something uh, like this, where I can spread out my Roach Ravager and do the maximum amount of damage to him. 
Then I have to take out these tanks with corrosive piles. These three tanks. While making sure that the marines cannot simply stim on my army and kill me. So I need to use corrosive piles to zone out the marines a little bit and to zone out the tanks. And we're going to see what this looks like now. You see I'm trying to spread out my roach ravager a little bit. Some come from the bottom. The corruptors go in, they die really fast. The tanks survive, I, man I missed some key biles there. and But the engagement is still going good for me because... I managed to spread out my units enough and I had enough of an upgrade advantage that I managed to take this engagement favorably and get a lead in this game. He could have dealt a lot of damage with his drop but he was limited in terms of multitasking as well so he could not do that. Now I'm in a favorable position being ahead 40 supply if you look at units lost I lost slightly more but I also mined slightly more. Now here comes another drop and I'm going to defend it with the with three roaches again and that is that. At the front here another here again he has four tanks the marines are at the back this is really bad for him because he wants the tanks to be protected by the marines and in, and like this I can simply take out the tanks and the marines are going to have tr have a lot of trouble. So I'm, I will try to zone out the marines with corrosive piles to make them run away from me instead of push toward me. By making them run away they cannot shoot. Well, if they would push toward me they could just stutter step and shoot while moving. We will see this now. Going in, killing the tanks. He has to move away with the marines, ma enabling me some free shots. He has to move the marines away. This time he could run towards me, so he did not really lose any DPS at all. Tr trying to do damage to the medivacs as well. And he will eventually clean this up. Now, if you look at the uni at units lost again, I'm even further behind. Uh, actually, I, the, the trade was about even, but he lost a lot of tanks and it's harder for him to reproduce tanks than it is for me to reproduce Roach Ravager because I just have to press the R button and the units appear. And then I press the T button and they morph into Ravagers. And here I am with another perfect army co composition of Roach Ravager. Meanwhile, he's sending some Liberators. I believe I scouted that, so I'm already... No, I've, I thought that drop was coming, or going to come. So I built a Spore Crawler and moved my uh, Creep Queens down here to deal with the drop. But it's going to be Liberators instead. I'm opening up this path as well, so I can take an even better engagement. And here you will see it again. I go in. Immediately shoot at the tanks. The marines have to run away so they cannot do damage. Now they stim forward. This is what he wants. So he can stim forward and do damage to me. But he has simply too little. And uh, Tom, the spore and queens defended against the liberator perfectly. And this was it. To give a quick summary, I opened with a uh, circling. Did nothing. Three roaches managed to take out the cooling tower. Lift his natural. He countered with a drop, killing a lot of drones with a widow mine, but my fast fire managed to pay back, managed to deliver some payback, kill a couple of his SCVs, take out a lot of his tanks. Meanwhile, his drop did a lot of damage at my third base, taking it out, killing a lot of overlords, roaches and drones. And my roach counter managed to do absolutely no damage at all as he already had tanks and marines stationed but his next attack down here he was fighting at an upgrade disadvantage which uh, enabled me a really good victory over him and i managed to push with my roach ravager army in the end into his base and finish him off i hope you like this game Feel free to criticize me, send me feedback and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.